trash hillbilly Wallace. You're damn right. <laughs> Jack, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. Right in. Gentlemen. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaffo? Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang the bang song. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Chang's <laughs> father. You're for them massage. A little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer. Weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> Who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other, fuck you guys and fuck them! Oh, I remember this mission. Kill ya! This don't look like a larger operation to me. Competition in the marketplace! Overtime! 
I'm coming for you. Keep him out of here. Hey, get down. How about a murder, you prick? I didn't think you'd be over this quick. You're mine. That lab! Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots! Come on, come on! Smell those fumes! Yeah, you've only yourselves to blame. for this, assholes! What if I just do this again? Oh, that works. I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. Uh, I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe. She threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up act. before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Woo. Don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor! Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade! What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises! Find us some business so that we can make some money! And tidy my shit up! Let's go, Wade, come on! I'm driving! And jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. Suck. We gotta stop for ice cream? Pussies! Every one of you! Whew. Now that that's over, let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. That go okay? I heard about the banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, 
Who's Nick? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house I must have been... In a house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Oh, gee! Oh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey. How about this? I'll tell you a story. If you... Trevor! If you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. Right there. Los Santos. The end of the... Fucking earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike Nesh Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Ow! Even bigger than his real troll 
tits so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Oh, oh, we're near Floorcap. I'm seeing it on I find maps. I'll give you directions. It's straight here. It's a rag up here. Now keep going. This is the place. I think it is, at least. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! Ah. Come to visit you, you what? No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Hey, <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you were called Neverland Fed. A guy was never true. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah? Okay. Wait, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Ah. Oh, fuck is this shit. Is that yours? <laughs> of course not. I've only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I've done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah, there you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Trevor? Michael. Hey. It's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this Graham? Hmm? Yeah, well. I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Hmm, you're telling me, bro. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. Nice new tits, by the way. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Uh. 
Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, a. Um, she's, a. Uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it. You guys know that. What's her talent? No, they don't. She's a horrible dancer. Right. She might disagree with you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What now? Now? Where? Um, the main bedroom. Tracy being humiliated. Let's go. We go get her. We? Yeah, we. What are you going to stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go. Come on. I must be so awkward for Michael, probably thought Trevor was going to kill him. I mean, you can tell he definitely thought Trevor was going to kill him. He hid Jimmy behind him. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter, I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah. You're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss. You got blood under your nails and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but. Yeah, don't worry. Whoa. Yeah, don't worry. All right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out with actual friends. It's showtime, kids. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? <laughs> Trev is such a good character. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That was really... All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, Season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer but she also likes acting modeling and working with children that's that's beautiful you're so original like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke oh. who are these clowns that's my <laughs> dad and trevor two dads oh. <laughs> great wow. very san andreas what are you guys doing here two what dads doing here? okay i'm back relax chill make yourself at home he's got a little show to do here okay. three Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Ah. Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Look at that. I was stuff a twenty in this. Can you fucking do something about this? Uh, all right, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, 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 I got security! 
Security! Security! What you fucking say? Come on, big guy! Come on, there! Fuck! With a chair. Tracy, go home. Hey, you little prick! Ah, they towed us. We gotta take the truck. I mean, we could take the car. I got a deposit on that truck. It's like less than twenty meters away. Get in, Michael. We're running that prick down. Look, he went left. How can you yes, see that? Yes, I meant to like that. Hey, you raise the daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking laugh. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. We can have a little fun with him, but let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? We gotta go to the left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little, huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. <laughs> He's gone round to the right. He took a right. Can't get it up in a celebrity, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. We'll get him. We'll get him. But we're sure taking our time about it. Ha ah, ah, ha! He's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. Why not just shoot at him this whole time? The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 those guys are out of batteries, huh? <laughs> they didn't mean anything by it, right? Trevor going, hey, hey. I sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your time, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Yeah. You proved your point. Yeah. This is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head! And you! Huh? Which we do later on. Uh, hey. There you go. Uh, uh, Alright. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Uh -huh. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come oh, on. No. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right come on, no. get up. No. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. 
The world's gonna see your shit. I didn't bring his trousers. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> Fine though, as long as you pretend you're glad but in prison. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo. Even though Trevor is put back to Northampton. Okay. 